Hill Avenue is closed right between SD Avenue and North Bend Road after that crash in Winton Hills. This is a live look at the scene right now. Police tell us it happened just before nine in the 6100 block of Center Hill Avenue. We're told that a driver crashed into a tree. We're still working to learn more information. We'll have a live report soon. New tonight as well, a Taylor Mill man gets indicted for several counts of child porn after authorities say he asked underage boys for nude photos and would let them borrow expensive pairs of shoes in return. Our Cordy King joins us live with the story you will only see right here on Fox 19 Now. Yeah, Trisha and Rob, right now we're live outside the Kenton County Courthouse because this is where Carlos Marshall was indicted earlier today on several child pornography charges. We did speak with the prosecutors on the case and they tell us that they're worried about his bond. Right now he's out on a $10,000 bond and they're worried about this because they think there could be more victims out there. Dealing with children that are not old enough to consent to creating pornographic images of themselves. On Thursday, this man, Carlos Marshall, was indicted on 10 counts of child pornography. Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders says Marshall would message underage boys through social media and ask them for nude photos. In exchange, he would let them borrow pairs of high-end shoes. What stood out to us, what has been talked about a lot, are pairs of Yeezys. Sanders says Marshall would meet up with the children at or near his Taylor Mill apartment. However, we do know that he was meeting the children after communicating with them through social media. The prosecutor says one of the victim's parents contacted Kenton County Police and the investigation began. Sanders says he has seen several cases where suspects engage in similar behavior. Perpetrators are finding ways to either blackmail or bribe children for pornographic images. This is this the first one I'm aware of that involves tennis shoes. Right now, Marshall is out on bond. Sanders says it's possible there are more victims out there. We're concerned that, of course, that's going on again and that there could be additional victims. Anybody that thinks that their child has had contact with Mr. Marshall should not talk to their child about whether or not anything inappropriate has gone on or whether Mr. Marshall has ever requested any type of images from them. Carlos Marshall faces up to 20 years in prison. If you think your child has been in contact with him or if you have any information, you are asked to call Kenton County Police. We have their information for you on our website, fox19now.com, and our free mobile news app. We're live in Covington. Courtney King, Fox 19 Now.